maybe feel like the game should have been called off? I think we obviously want the fans to get what they want. But I think, you know, ultimately when you play a game of cricket, you want a fair contest. That's ultimately what we all want. You know, was it one tonight? I'm not so sure. I think that's for a lot of people to decide. Um, you know, obviously, our boys tried hard. Both of the wet ball for eight overs in the rain for four of those overs, you know, towards the back end of their win. You know, it's a hard one to take because you feel that you were a little bit hard done by it, but that's cricket. You know, you don't get everything in life. We'll just go again next game and try and win our next two. So that's all we can focus on. But, you know, we try to give keep everybody happy, you know, despite um, feeling that hurt that we weren't looked after a little bit. You said you were hurt. That, can you just explain to me how much this loss kind of affects your entire campaign and kind of sum up your time? No, we can still qualify. <laughs> That's just, you know, so we're still positive. You know, the two okay. games that we have to win, two venues where I would think that most of the bonus points have come from Centurion and Newland, so it is possible. You know, yes, one or two results. But that's the nature of this tournament. Anybody can beat anybody, you know. So everybody's still alive in the tournament, which is why which makes this tournament so great. Um, I think tonight this is one you just you right off. You know, the boys try their best. You know, there's not much you can do when you're off given that amount of time and you still have to bowl in the wet. You know, you, you I think sometimes your duty of care has to be that it's a contest, and you know that's for the umpires to decide. You know, they feel they can sleep at night tonight, then that's fine. You know, then they can look at themselves, but you know, at the end of the day, um, we try our best as a team, and that's all I can ask of the guys. Paul, sorry, Obi. Uh, Paul, I finished the game quite well, and how has he been? Because as he, he the, uh, was, I think, last two overs. No, 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 Paula, Paula, I mean, we're talking about one of the greatest yes. of all time in our dressing room that spent a lot of time here in Cape Town. You know, he gives it his all. I mean, for him to step up and go and walk out there when that wasn't his um, batting position and take show a lot of leadership, you know, and that's what he's brought, what he's brought to our team. There's a lot of leadership, a lot of calm, a lot of cricket savvy, but most of all, he plays with his heart. You know, that's all we can ask for the guys that play for this team. So, you know, outstanding leader. You know, you can't fault his commitment to this team. You know, he's tried absolutely everything and he will continue to try everything until the last ball is bowled, bowled, the last ball is bowled for this team. So, you know, we are just privileged and happy that he's part of our dressing room and the boys, especially the local guys, are learning so much from him, not only from a cricket perspective, but how to be a professional. And if you want to succeed, you know, that's the perfect guy to talk to and he's been great around the changing room as far as that's concerned. Just coach my side. Uh, you speak about you guys hurt, you put up with our fires, the conditions. What what positive can you take of the night? I know it's a right off you said, but what, what no, else can you I take? I mean, there's nothing you can take from, from a game like that. You know, there's just the elements and what, we just got the... If you had to analyse it, we just lost the toss. You know, the rain came and unfortunately the rain got shortened and... That's what makes cricket a bit tricky with Duck with Lewis and T20 cricket. It doesn't seem fair. You know, if anything, maybe that needs to be relooked at. You know, it would maybe been fair to say, oh, you can score 97, but you've only got four wickets in hand. You know, that, maybe that would make it fair and not 10. You know, we know as cricket as T20 cricket is about swinging freely. They had 10 wickets in hand, 8 wickets. Sometimes you need a bit of luck in this tournament. They got it tonight. Maybe we're on the right side the next two games and the oh, us get through. So, you know, but. There is a duty of care to have a contest, you know, and not just get a game of cricket underway. It has to be a contest for the fans to really buy into it too. Coach, you speak about, you know, obviously the last two matches that are coming up now. Obviously you would have wanted to, you would like to use this game as sort of prep for those last two games. How much does a result like this sort of dampen those plans or sort of dampen, you know, the preparation that you wanted to use this game for? I think the preparation has all been done behind the scenes, you know, um, whether we played this game or not, you know, the guys are focused on one game at a time, really, so, I mean, every game, you know, dishes up new challenges and, you know, we just got to be ready for it, More, mostly mental and, you know, from a data perspective, so I don't think we learned anything from this game, to be honest with you, we just played a game of cricket this evening, one side took the points out, you know, and, and that's about it, you know, we'll just focus on the next game and, and we still have a chance. And that's the most important thing. All you want is a chance in this, these types of tournaments.
different approach. Uh, just uh, you said mental now. What's that mindset like tomorrow morning when you sit with the players or in the next few days? To be honest, is the the changing room energy hasn't really changed. You know, it's always been a good dressing room to be part of. Guys enjoy each other's company, so which is remarkable. You know, from where we sit, you know, we'd have liked a couple of more wins, but that's D20 cricket. You know, um, I do feel that. You know, we still have a chance. Like I said, it's probably the two venues. If you wanted to win with a bonus point, you know, those are the two venues where our last games are at: Centurion and Newlands. So the boys are still positive. I must be honest. Um, I've been in dressing rooms that have been in better situations, and it hasn't been that great. You know, we've been in a tough situation, but the boys are still in good spirits. So that's all you can ask for: that they're positive and they believe.